Hello everyone, welcome again to another series of video from Electronics Eternity. So this is a continuation of our ESP8266 uh, tutorial. So uh, we have like uh, some videos before which is for the basics. Uh, we have covered the basics and that. And uh, in this part of the tutorial, so we, we will be looking into uh, how to interpret responses from ESP8266 and uh, providing confirmation accordingly. Okay, so uh, this will help us to create a sort of uh, function or, or multiple functions that help us to uh, complete the overall checks, right? So we, we need to have a certain uh, commands that need to be run and we need to know that it is executed successfully right so the, in this tutorial we will be looking into that hopefully it helps you to do the same all right so without further ado let's dive into it so this is the instructions for the setup so tx and rx uh, this time around is connected to pin 2 and 3 because uh, we are you know, how to say we are setting up a separate uh, software serial connection right so ID connection 48 so okay this is just an uh, it's just an instruction it doesn't matter much so let's look into this so I am using uno and, and therefore I'm gonna enable this part of the command if you are using mega I'm using uh, pin number 10 and 11 which is also a pin compatible for software serial connections you can change it to whichever pin you want but uh, you just need to make sure that it is compatible with software serial connection okay next is all about the variables we have a char names respond we have a string name esp buffer i have int inj all these are booleans so this will uh, change to true basically when a certain condition is fulfilled all right so let's look into void setup here void setup is basically starting the two software serial connection so as you can see we have uh, declared the software serial connection over here and uh, over here we're just initializing it okay so when this connection is available uh, you simply say serial ESP is started if it's not you just keep retrying until it happens okay so delay for five seconds just to allow everything to settle in that ESP processing and next let's go into our void loop so if you notice in the void loop we have a few checkings right which is to which is named as station mode get IP address sorry G IP address chip marks and chip server so basically this are the series of instructions 80 instructions that I run and before I yeah, do anything with the ESP8266 for an example let's just say you're sending an information uh, to a website or to a database you need to have uh, certain co commands to be run and executed successfully first right so this is what I'm doing over here so for now bear with me once I explain everything in detail you will understand okay so the very first check that I do over here is to uh, run station mode okay so in the beginning station mode is false okay uh, which will turn to true once the condition is fulfilled. So just to Demonstrate over here. I'm going to just comment out everything Right, I'm going to just comment out and let's look at clear buffer, right? So down below here. I have all my uh, You know extra voids that I have created just to organize things Right, I don't want everything in the inside the void loop because then it would look like a mess so i have created separate and specific void functions so that it can be called anytime we find it necessary okay so for clear buffer let's look for clear buffer so what clear buffer does is basically just clear the buffer right we we have a string name esp buffer 
and we're just clearing it so this command will will clear whatever content it has so next is uh, we're going to check if this boolean is false if it's false then execute this function called Wi-Fi station mode so let's go to Wi-Fi station mode so over here we have Wi-Fi station mode in the beginning it would say running Wi-Fi station mode allow delay again five seconds and then we run this command so this command would run would say CW mode equals to three and then we we need the oops my bad then we need the slash r slash n and uh, while esp is available we are going to read the response and we are going to store this response in esp buffer right so we can exactly see what is uh, stored in esp buffer over here and we could also see what is the length of the buffer so uh, for demonstration purpose let me uncomment this right but once you know this is working you don't have to maintain it because it's just too much in serial print so it becomes a mess right so once i have stored all the responses from esp8266 in my buffer which is called esp buffer i'm going to look for the word okay so if the word okay is anywhere to be found i'm using index off here index off is is basically going to assign a number uh, not to say assign a number it's going to check for the number uh, the number which represents the sequence of the word OK. So most likely it's going to be more than one, right? So as long as it is found, it's going to change the boolean of station mode to become true. And we're going to say serial print Wi-Fi station mode setup is completed. Okay, so if we go back over here, for as long as it's false, it's going to run this. And once it becomes true, it's going to go to the next part of the check okay so let's quickly upload this so you can see i have my uno and i'm going to upload this done now let's open my serial connection so i have initiating serial communication serial esp started running wi-fi station mode let's see what happens it, it's going to run uh, until it becomes true so it's running few times a lot of gibberish input length input length so this is just to tell the length okay so let's see what happens over here so it, it tries few times and it's just a lot of items right it just keeps collecting the responses which is why the response is increasing so it becomes a z blah 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 and every time it collects a character the length increases 37 38 39 and when we go all the way to the part where it becomes completed right i think somewhere in this sentence the word okay is found right so when when it is found let me see let's go all the way to the bottom right so wi-fi station mode completed so when the word okay is found i'm not sure why do we have this it's probably some uh i'm not sure it's just, just some conversion issue from one kind of string to another all right so you will notice this when you use your uh uh, specifically declared uh, software serial connection if you are directly using pin 0 and 1 you won't be seeing this because it will be directly reading it but what happens when you declare an extra software serial it, it basically communicates and then pass on the value so in between the passing of information you are out to get this this sort of like weird characters but anyways, uh, Arduino can interpret that, right? So maybe to us, uh, this is what we see, but Arduino is basically interpreting those information. And the moment the word OK is found, 
right the moment the word ok is found it is basically displaying Wi-Fi station mode setup is completed okay so if you could see this is a lot of you know characters and just gibberish so what you can do to to keep all that sore eyesight away is just to simply comment out this part right and upload the code again let's see the differences this time so we have done uploading it let's clear the output let's see what we get so running Wi-Fi station with oh my bad so let me clear the output again and show you from the beginning so initiating serial comms serial ESP started and Wi-Fi station mode and let's see so for as long as it could not find ok it will keep running that function so that's what we're seeing here so once it is done then we could see that the Wi-Fi station mode setup is completed I'm not sure why there are so many of this uh, but then I, I think it's because it's because if it's inside of this function right while so which is why it's keep giving you a lot of let's do one thing let's see what happens so if we take out the if and we just put it over here all right let's see upload once so once the while is over let's see what happens let me click upload again and uh, So we have the usual startup and running Wi-Fi station mode and uh, it's repeating. You see, okay, so it's it's much more decent when the if mode is actually outside of the while loop. So it, it gives a much better representation of output. Alright, so you can keep this outside. So, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me just do the same for the rest so that we don't get the same sore eyesight that we saw just now. Uh, while input length. Okay, so this is a bit different. So, the if statement for this is already outside. So, let's see, get IP address. So, the if statement is inside. I'm gonna take this out. Let's go to the next part. If statement is inside, let me take that out. If statement is inside, let me take out and keep it here. Okay, so everything is done over here, I suppose. So let's save and let's see what does the rest of the functions do. Alright, so we have Wi-Fi reset, we have clear buffer, this is Wi-Fi station mode, which is what we looked into just now. We have get IP address, set chip max, set chip server. Okay, so let's go all the way to the Wi-Fi reset. So what Wi-Fi reset does? So it runs the reset command and it reads for the value and uh, what does it do? Okay. So, uh, so in, in this part, I cannot look for the word OK. I'm going to have to look for the word uh, IP. So, but I don't want my reset to run uh, too many times because then it will just, uh, you know, just ruin whatever I'm trying to do right it would ruin that one line of execution so what I have done over here is so buffer complete so if buffer complete is true then you check for this value okay so where is my buffer complete so okay so my buffer complete is dependent on the length and when the length is more than 160 then I look for that then I break the if 
then I go and look for the word if. Okay, so this is what is going to happen. So I run the reset and then I wait for all the responses. The responses will take a bit of time with the reset, which is why I have this check over here, which is once all the characters gathered in the ESP buffer exceeds 160, then I would say hey, you, you should stop. Buffer complete is true, and then we break the cycle. Then we go and look into what is inside this ESP buffer. Okay, so this is why Wi-Fi reset is slightly different. Uh, clear buffer, Wi-Fi station mode, get IP address and set setting chip marks and everything is just the same. It's just that get IP address, I'm using the keyword STA, MAC and chip marks, what keyword, I'm just using the keyword OK again. Set chip server, I'm using the keyword OK again. Now to, to prove if everything is working, so let's try something. Let's try something out, okay. Uh, clear buffer. Find command. Clear buffer, chip marks, get IP. Let me run the reset, see if it works. Okay, chip server, Wi-Fi, reset. Okay. Oh boy, why did I do that? So let me just format this. So it looks much better. So let's try reset and comment this, upload. Oh my bad, I should change this to Wi-Fi reset again. And what is my boolean for reset? So, so while Wi-Fi reset ESP is false, run Wi-Fi reset again. Okay, so upload that code. Let's see what it produces. So the usual startup. Running Wi-Fi reset and then running reset again. I think it will run for a few more times. And we have a bunch of I know gibberish there. Let's see. Okay, so finally we got the word okay and Wi-Fi reset is completed. Okay. So again, if you don't want to see all of this, you can just comment out this part. Okay, so uh, for me, I found that OK comes up to 160. So just just out of luck, I think for, for some people, it might be more than 160, it might be less. So you can try out to, to change this number and see when you get the word OK. Right, so do I have the right? So, how you can see the length, you can just enable these two lines and you will see the length. And when you see the length, you will know when you get the word uh, sorry, you would you get the word IP. Okay, so when I get the word IP, then everything is completed, All right. So that is for the reset. Reset is uh, slightly different because reset gives a bit of a uh, longer response in comparison to the rest. The rest are mostly okay or just few lines of codes. Okay, so uh, let's try uncomment. So let's try uncommenting the rest and try this out okay so let's try everything else get IP address we'll look for this keyword chip marks and chip server and etc okay so 
so let's run everything in the Wi-Fi loop except for Wi-Fi reset which is this 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 okay so let's upload this see what happens now opening serial monitor running Wi-Fi station mode which is the first function okay Wi-Fi mode is completed now moving on to getting IP address running get IP address get IP address is completed and then set chip marks running chip marks completed and then we're running chip server right which is to set the chip to function as a server right so these are all the AT commands that I'm running uh, as a package of basic setup okay so set chip server is completed so once I'm completed I think I can move on to the next part right so however we are not going to cover the next part because this is just a video on to show you how you can uh, have a series of AT command executions and this command uh, will function as a basic startup package right so I uh, have showed you all of it and the command is working okay so I will definitely make this command available in the block uh, so that you can refer and use it for your own projects anytime you need to okay I hope this video is useful to you and you've learned some new things uh, with that we have come to the end of the video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you